This video will cover a brief overview of the Trimble Asset Manager menus and features. Let's click on the construction site, TAM, and launch the application. We see a dashboard on the home page. First, we have the last inspected widget. This looks at every asset, and based on the last time the asset was inspected, it categorizes the assets as follows. 24 hours, assets that have been inspected in the last 24 hours. One week, assets that have been inspected in the last week. One month, assets that have been inspected within the last month. Greater than a month, and also never. This shows the assets that have never yet been inspected. The asset count widget displays the number of assets purchased from the SciTech store and the number of assets added to the database. When the two numbers get close, it's time to contact your dealer to buy more assets. Open transfers by assignment type shows how many transfers are still open and have yet to be closed for each assignment. Now, let's take a look at the main menu. We start to the left with Manage Transfers. Manage Transfers has Active and History underneath it. Active displays by assignment type the assets that are in a transfer process. History shows details of all asset transfers that have been closed. The system enables you to add and save filters in this view. Manage Assets. Assets, this is the key menu in the system and enables you to add assets, create filters, view assets, transfer assets, and display assets in a map view. Inspections is where we go to see the most recent inspection reports. Manage job sites shows us a list of our job sites that we have currently active in the project. Under the configuration, we will find many different solutions. Categories, makes and models is where you would add new data structure, custom templates to create templates to facilitate adding your assets quicker. Assignment types, you would use this in the transfer mode to, to um, say which truck or which vehicle needs to move the asset. Transfer reasons, what's the reason the asset couldn't be moved. User permissions, user profile, company information to name a few. Clicking on the help question mark will bring up the help documentation. All the user material is online as well. That brings us to the end of this session. Please continue on with other training videos.